Hello my dear children and welcome back to our maths online class. Children, in last lesson we learnt about the numbers and how to count the number in groups. So let us learn today how to form the group of 10 and units. So children, can you see here the rings? How many rings I have kept? So, we have to count before telling their number. So, let us count the rings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, children here these are 10 rings. I have made a group of 10 rings. Okay. Now, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here are the 8 rings. So we got here 1 group of 10 rings and single 8 rings. These are single 8 units. 8 units means what? 8 single rings. And it is 1 10. It is 1 10. So I got 1 10, 1 group of 10 and 8 singles or 8 units. So that means what is the number? So children here, 1 10 means 10. Okay. Plus 8 unit means 8 is equal to what is the number? 18. Okay. Can you see children? Total 18 rings I was having. And then I made a group of 10. So I got one group of 10. That is one 10. And then I got single 8 rings. They are 8 units. Means single 1 1. They cannot come in the group of 10. Because they are not in number 10. They are below 10. Oh, okay. okay. In number if I count in number. They are coming 8 number okay so they are 8 units and this is group of 10 so they are 1 10 so total 10 plus 8 is equal to 18 now let's go on the next example i am having some matchsticks let us count the matchsticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so here 10 sticks. I am making one group of 10 sticks. Then we will see another group of 10 can we make. Let us count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This is the second group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So these are the 8 units. So total I am having 2 groups of 10. I got 2 groups of 10 of sticks and single 8 units. Okay single 8 sticks. 8 sticks means 8 units I have got and here I got 2 tens. 2 group of 10s. Okay. That means 210 means how many children? 210 means 20. And this single 8 unit means 8 only. So what is the number? The number is 28. So we got 28 number. In 28 we can form 2 group of 10 and single 8 units. Did you get this? Then we will go on our third example. So here I am having some flowers. Let us count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, one group I have form of 10. See another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. It is the second group of 10. 
and single see first group second group then 1 2 3 and 4 so total children i have formed here one group of 10 and then second group of 10 and these are the single four units four units means four single flowers and these two tens here i got two tens so children can you see i got here two tens that means two groups of 10 plus these four units so how to write these two ten means 20 plus this single four units is equal to 24 so i got number 24 so in 24 how many tens are there two tens can you see two group of tens so in 20 two tens are there and plus this four single units four units so 20 plus 4 is equal to 24 Did you get children? Children, read the question after me. Look at the objects and write the number. Now I have made here two columns: column of tens and column of units. And in that column, I have kept some objects. So, what is your work? You have to count the objects. and tell me their exact numbers and then we are going to write by counting the objects we are going to write its numerals and the number names okay so let's start can you see the tens column how many sticks how many group of sticks are he these can you count with me 1 2 3 and 4 four group of sticks that means four tens so we have to write here four tens four ten means four group of sticks then how many single sticks how many units how many single sticks we can see count with me 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so six single sticks we can see so what is the number children it is Four tens and six units means forty-six. So here we have written the number, but now down we have to write its name. So it's forty-six. Okay, forty-six. Children, did you get? Now we'll go on the second example. What can you see here? Here. Ten rupees. How many notes can you see? So here, ten rupees one and two. So we can see two notes of tens. That means two tens. Okay. Then how many single units? How many one rupees single coin we can see? Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. so these are five coins of one so total what is the number it's 25 so how many rupees i am having 25 and in 25 how many tens so two tens and how many units five units so we have to write here so we got 20 5 rupees here children did you get now we will go on our next example so here can you see the string of beads so how many groups of strings i have kept here count with me 1 2 and 3 so here i am having 3 tens Three tens means three group of strings. That is three tens means thirty. Okay, and how many single beads I have kept? Count with me: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So here are eight 
single piece eight units so what is the total number children it's 38 so let's write here it's 38 okay it's 38 so can you see children 38 means in 38 how many tens we are having in 38 we are having three tens and how many units eight units did you get so we'll proceed on our next example here can you see the small beads small balls so i have made 10 beads one group so how many groups of beads do we have only one one ten that means did you get we are having only one group of ten ten beads one group that is one ten and how many singles beads we are having count with me one two three and four so four single beads i am having so what is the total number then it's 14 what is the number name it's 14 so in 14 how many tens do we get we get one ten and four units in number 14 children did you get now we'll go on next example 